Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd. And welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time I found a doomstone and approached it at midnight, thereby becoming the Hell Rider. And you'd honestly think that'd be the coolest thing to happen to me that day. But no, I just walked straight up the road, found a nest of vampires, and killed the vampire patriarch. So, okay, I am truly, truly becoming badass. Though uh, there were, you know some small consequences to that. Such as, for example, yes, the polypheric haemophilia, which I'm going to assume means you're about to become a vampire because that's how it worked in Skyrim. So, okay, I have been thinking long and hard about this and uh, I've decided. While I am still a baby level 4 character, I am not going to become a vampire just yet. Okay, later, when we're a bit more established, absolutely, I'll find myself a nice vampire, let him have a nibble, become a vampire myself, or most certainly come to regret it and have to go for an incredibly complicated process to undo it. But for now, just for today, I think we're going to pass. I mean, to say that, I'm going to be honest, I don't know precisely how I actually cure polyphilic haemophilia, or whatever it was, because... Uh, I really bloody hope this gets rid of it, because if it doesn't, I'm not sure what to do next. Because uh, I'm not sure I want to go up to random people in the streets and say, Hi, you know, just out of interest, how would you cure vampirism if you had to? Just, you know, purely theoretical question. I feel like it might not go down well, so... Uh, Alright, give it a go, and... Well, I was just allowed to drink it, so that's good. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Brilliant. Okay. Today, not a vampire. Instead, today at level 5, because, okay, we only need, yeah, two more major skills. Uh, endurance is already at plus 5. Uh, speed, obviously, because why wouldn't I? So, uh, light armor, acrobatics, just one more will do at that. And as for, oh, my old friend, alchemy. Brilliant. So, uh, alright, I am just going down the road in a second to... Chaydinal? Chaydinal Hall? Chaydinal Hall? Okay, I'm not sure. We'll find, like, the local count, countess, whatever, and ask them. Whatever pronunciation they go with, that one I'm gonna say is the right one. Alright, lovely new day, Imperial City in the background, meaning... Okay, hang on, where was the... There's the road. Uh, shouldn't be too much further than, uh, yeah, where I've got to. I feel like I've already made it most of the way along this incredibly uneven road. I love the roads. The roads in this game are brilliant. I adore them. Right, just follow the road. We should reach Chaden Hall pretty bloody soon, I'd say. Oh, and here we go. This would appear to be it right here. So, okay. Another much bigger town than I was expecting, actually. Giant walls right there. I guess this is the uh, center of the empire. By any chance, your horse is less of a ridiculous ripoff. Ah, yes, but don't forget why I'm actually here. Reynald Germain. Yes, we were supposed to find his doppelganger, though... I'm going to be honest, I can't remember what he looks like. Because he kind of chased me out of his house the moment he gave me the mission, so... Oh, that might have been an oversight on my part. Because I'm guessing, yes, he's got like a long-lost twin in this town. But they're not going to know the name Reynald, so... Okay, live in hope. Reynald Germain? No, I don't know anyone by that name. There's a Gilbert Germain in town, though. Maybe he can help you. He's staying over at Newlands Lodge, but you also might find him walking around town. Good luck. Okay, definitely long lost twin. Gotcha. The black horses of Chadenhall are the finest in all of Cyrodiil. None are faster, and only the white horses of Anvil are stronger. Okay, so I'm not sure whether this is just sales patter or if different horses actually do have uh, different stats. I wouldn't mind uh, the fastest horse, but okay, if I thought, you know, the horses outside Coral were expensive, uh, these ones are even more so. Okay, here we go into town and there's... there's just a horse. But apparently, yes, I feel like stealing that would be a mistake, given there's a guard uh, right here. Though, admittedly, only one... Which feels wrong, like there should be a guard standing either side of the gate, though maybe the horse is a guard. Oh, I'm going to be honest, this place is lovely too. Okay, you know what? Coral. The house there looked like it might be a bit on the expensive side, but this town is... Oh, this is nice. This is 
great big hill in winter when it snows. Really good sledding right there. Oh, and there's a river. Oh, I love water. Moving water right there. Waterfront property, but like properly. Not like in the Imperial City where it's just a shack by a swamp or something. Oh, now this. This could actually be better than coral as far as I'm concerned. So, okay, there's a lot of really, really beautiful towns around here. Okay, before I get distracted by everything, I am a here for a reason. Find the guy's doppelganger. I've now got a name, and they said he was at the Newlands Lodge, so... Alright, I'm guessing this is like... Dwellings, but not like, you know, an inn. More like, you know, permanent rental property. Or something. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Who is... Aha! This lad right here. Alright, step one, just make sure he is nice and well inclined towards me, just in case, you know, I need to get any extra information out of him. Buddy, so, you might have, like, a long-lost twin brother, or something-something demons, because, you know, Elder Scrolls. Very often, peculiar thing means something-something demon. He... he's alive? I was told that my mother and brother never survived. This is amazing. I'll need to go see him at once. You'll have to excuse me. I'd better leave right away. But please, come and see us in Coral. It would be wonderful for us both to be able to thank you for helping us find each other again. Okay, so it was just a simple, yeah, long-lost twin situation. Though admittedly, okay, we know people from Coral came here and saw you, then went back to Coral and spoke to your brother and said, hey, why didn't you recognize me or something, but... It's just a weird coincidence not one of them, on seeing their friend in Che Dinal, bothered to come up to him and say hi. This reunion will be the happiest day of my life. Oh, blimey, he is going at speed. Oh, then he slowed down a bit. Okay, mostly he's going at speed. Hello, you look like a food salesperson to me. Here you have your chapel going Imperials and your chapel dodging dark elves, and never the twain shall meet. The Imperials have the gold, houses, and top spots. Dark elves like me left Morrowind and the whole priest-ridden tribunal nightmare. And we take the whole patriotic Imperial mission attitude with a dose of salt. Okay, so this town's got a bit of a race divide going on. So the Imperials get the money in the best houses and the dark elves... Oh, yes, that's true, actually. We're close by to Morrowind, aren't we? Yep, there it is, right there. This must be the closest town to Morrowind, and also, yes, a logical stopping-off point between the Imperial City and Morrowind. So it makes sense there'd be a whole bunch of Dark Elves here, potentially refugees for whatever it was that happened in Morrowind, which appears to be bad and, like, involve uh, possibly a volcano? I think there might have been a volcano involved. Poor Tavella. I hear she's turning Chaden Hall inside out looking for her husband, Wright. I hope nothing bad has happened to him. Okay, we've also got ourselves a, a missing person. And that's begun a new mission too, a brush with death. So, okay, a famous painter has gone missing. I'm guessing, yes, from the name, assassinated or something. His wife, Tavella, has been frantically searching. Maybe I should give him a visit. Well... I mean, I'm gonna be honest, the business we're separated at birth got wrapped up faster than I was expecting, so I see no reason why not. Oh gosh darn it, she's also barely selling anything in the way of food. Dear oh flipping dear. Oh, though hilariously, I can blend that vampire dust I've been picking up with garlic to create resist disease potions. That's lovely. So okay, keep that going on for a second. Yep. Just shy of alchemy up to the next level, so we may need to, unfortunately, yes, find some more ingredients. Though, to be honest, hang about. All I need to do, actually, is... Well, okay, that was easier than I was expecting. Yes, just someone want dagger. That's conjuration. That's fine, too. That's 9 out of 10. All I need is, yes, speed being maxed out, so... All right, activate jumping. So, okay, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to do my daily exercise right here inside your pub. Kind of hope you're okay with that. And speaking of which, my jumping is starting to get very big and floaty, which I greatly approve of. So, okay, this is, this is getting somewhere. I approve. And there we go, acrobatics up. And now I should rest and meditate. 
which I'm willing to do. And you know what? You? You've just given me a really good tip and a bit of information about this bar. So yes. I'm going to slip you a bit of money for just an hour's nap upstairs. Okay, upstairs, nice private room. And I'm going to be honest. I'm regretting this already. These sheets look really not clean. But okay, it's just an hour's nap. It's fine. And here we go. So okay, like we've been saying, endurance really needs to go up because I am dying very fast. Speed's going up because I find it hilarious. And intelligence, let's get that moving up too. Though I feel like for the next level, I might want to prioritize agility. I'm pretty bloody good with bows, much better with bows than I am with, say, melee weapons. And agility I just have not been touching. So, okay. Let's think about agility for next time. So that is marksman, security, and sneak. So, okay. Get better at lockpicking and start sneaking around, getting the uh, sneak attack crits in, and use my bow a bit more. Gotcha. Okay, this would appear to be like the main shopping street because we've also got books here. And we've got, I think this was, uh, what are you? Okay, you're the inn, though this was kind of also the inn. So, okay, there's just two inns uh, opposite each other. That's fine. Many towns have more than one pub or whatever. And we have got the March Rider. Well, there's an anvil. Okay, I'm guessing your weapons and whatnot. Oh, yeah. This looks like a weapony sort of place to me. Hello there. I've got stuff to sell. Okay, step one. Let's sell some stuff. So I've already uh, sweet talked her. She's only journeyman in terms of, uh, yeah, some merchants. So maybe we can get away with uh, some of this. Like, say, so you want shields? I can't do that. Okay, not quite. Maybe more about there. And... Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So get rid of a few other bits and pieces I do not need. And actually thinking about it, okay. I picked up a lightning sword. Now the lightning sword is, yeah, good condition. Does bonus shock damage. It just seems to be, yeah, it's a steel short sword, but also has lightning on it. So screw my existing short sword, basically. Oh, and she's selling a light armor helmet that's actually got some armor on it. I mean, something on my head that's light and actually gives me armor. Oh, go on. Why not? I'll take it. There we go. Lovely. So that's cleared out the old carry weight nicely. And to be honest, I am still currently wearing, yes, mostly fur stuff, which is not so great. How much leather are you selling? I mean... It's not really that expensive, to be honest. For me to just go back over to leather, at least on the old armor. Yeah, go on, why not? You could have washed the blood off the chainmail helmet before you sold it to me. That's just rude. Okay, I'm good to say I am loving this town right here. With its lovely river and just so much green open space. There's a tiny island right here you can just hang out on. There is a beautiful section over this side of the bridge, lovely massive church right there. I'm guessing that'll be, uh, yes, the castle or citadel or whatever over there. Okay, I could deal with living in this town. I think I just saw a second ago. House for sale. I mean, that's a good sized property right there. Now, I will admit, it doesn't really have, like, much of a garden. That is a bit of a problem, and it is right by the walls. Like, that's going to cause problems uh, with uh, shade. The amount of natural light you're getting, uh, not a huge amount. But, it is right by the bridge, uh, right by this island, uh, right by the water. Right by, yeah, this lovely roundabout right here. And, aha! I'm seeing guild symbols. In fact, not just... Ooh! Okay, we have got Fighters Guild... Uh, and round the corner, Mage's Guild. So, okay, just like Coral, this is... Uh, yeah, this feels like this is right in the bustling heart of town. But it's not like on the shopping precinct itself. So you don't have a huge amount of traffic. It's going to be... Oh, this is actually a lovely spot for a house. Yes. Okay, I just took some intelligence. Let's check in with the Mage's Guild. Because I still need to collect those letters of recommendation. So far, I've got one. And it might not be good anymore. Because I did steal a key from the guy who gave it to me. And then rob him. And don't forget to check the charter so you know what you're walking into. So, 
Alteration. That is not my speciality. I doubt the alteration salesman is going to have much I can use. Well, to be honest, I don't think we have much of a team in the Chaden Hall Guild Hall. We lack leadership, and individually, we aren't very skilled. Okay, just randomly speaking to mages, apparently this woman does not think much of the mages in uh, Chaden Hall. So, okay, there might be a bit of a crisis of confidence and or leadership round here. Oh, and that does remind me. Yes, in Mages Guild, uh, you can just take the alchemy equipment. And I'm pretty sure I need it because, yes, indeed. I kind of just um, lost my previous stuff when I left it outside in front of uh, Hillard the Thief. So, okay, I've got those two, meaning I need, uh, yeah, I need you and I need uh, you. Though I might want to, yes, store them somewhere. They are a bit on the heavy side. Now, who's who and who's going to be selling me useful things? Okay, step one, illusion trainer. Remember that, pretty useful. It's all right. The guild here, that is. That's what you meant, right? It's fine. I'm doing fine here. Okay, something's gone seriously wrong with this guild. They all seem to hate the guild and each other. Okay, I found the alteration salesman, though he's got a few other bits and pieces too, and to be honest, actually, the stuff I'm interested in is uh, mysticism, telekinesis, remote manipulation. I mean, I'm not not taking that, obviously, and then with a bit more alteration, you could walk on water, might be useful, and uh, there's Soul Trap. One day I'm going to be wanting to get into, yes, all sorts of... Uh, Bits and pieces with enchanting weapons. But for the time being, let's leave that for now. And yeah, this is interesting. So you could do alteration instead of security. And to be honest, I do need a way to get alteration up. So I'm going to buy very easy. And maybe we'll use that on occasion. Oh, and the same lad's got something else that no one else wants to talk about. Daedra cults. Yes, where do I sign up to those? Deidre cults aren't necessarily evil, of course. In nearby Morrowind, for example, they worship Deidre in the temple. The Azura Shrine north of town, up Lake Arius Way, for instance. I know a dark elf there. Nothing evil about him. Okay, we've got ourselves a Deidre Shrine and or cult. And there it is, on the map, okay. I think we might want to uh, swing up in that direction at some point or another. Hey. If I paid you 20 gold to spend a night in the abandoned house, would you do it? Not a chance. Okay, hang on. Just a random overheard conversation there, but there might be a haunted abandoned house or something. Okay, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I've got myself into a bit of a situation here, which is I was looking for Falcar, who's the guy people were saying, hey, you need to speak to him for your recommendation. And I couldn't find him. But there was one locked door down in the basement, and uh, eventually I saw it open and Falcar came out. So I decided to nip in so I could loot the place. Which I have done, but um, now I can't get back out again. Which is unfortunate. But what I have discovered is, uh, if we just uh, go through his stuff here, black soul gems. The sort of soul gems, if I'm remembering right from Skyrim, you use uh, for human souls. Okay, now that, that seems somewhat evil to me. Okay, I think we're going to have to wait for him to come back and sleep. And then, in the morning, he might be willing to, um, let me out of his room. Which I'm now completely trapped in, so... Okay, let's speak to him. Then we can get our recommendation or the mission for it. What is it, associate? Don't tell me you're here for a recommendation. Oh, I feel like this one's going to be tricky, actually, yes. Don't waste my time if you're not ready for this. Are you prepared to do what is necessary to gain a recommendation from me? I mean, potentially. Could I just blackmail you, though? Because I do have evidence that you either already have or are planning to murder people to use their souls in magic. Hmm. Very well. We shall see how prepared you actually are. There was a particular ring of burden I was testing some time ago. Another stupid associate somehow got his hands on it and managed to misplace it. If I didn't know better, I'd say he purposely tossed it down the well behind the guild hall. Why he would do such a thing is beyond me. You will retrieve this ring for me. Should you manage to do so, I shall consider sending a recommendation to the university. 
The well is locked, so you'll need the key. Dietzen should have a copy of it. Now get moving. Okay, got myself a mission, go into well, defeat presumably rats, probably something worse than rats actually. And then, yes, recommendation letter number two. Ah, slight issue, mind. It's not a normal ring, you see. You may find it slightly difficult to carry. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, the ring's enchanted, and I'm guessing that means, yes, it, like, lowers my carry capacity by a hundred, or something like that. Okay, well, I have got a plan, though. Oh, actually, don't have a plan, because... Would you mind letting me out of your bedroom? Okay, wait till, like, some form of morning time. Then if we're lucky, he will get up, open the door, and we can get out behind him. There we go. It's now morning. Just don't get out when he... Please open the door and don't shut it behind you. Go, 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 go. Right, we're out. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Okay, I've got a plan. All right, I'm thinking about this really carefully. Ah, gosh darn it, I was hoping to, yes, if I got burdened, use the ease burden spells to feather myself. Meaning, basically, yes, I could get the ring out that way. But I don't have the alteration to use the spell he's offering. And don't forget to get the key from well. Deet San right here. So, yes, where's the... It was you, right? I swear it was you. Where's the key? We can talk, so long as Falkar is out of earshot. If I didn't know any better... I'd say he's trying to get you killed. He gave poor Vidkin the same task, and we never saw him again. I'm reasonably sure there's a connection, but I can't prove it. Do be careful. I'd hate to lose another useful associate. Here's the key, and something extra. I don't know if it will be of use to you, but from what I've heard of Falkar's ring, it may come in handy. And if you find out anything about what happened to Vidkun, let me know, will you? Okay. Buoyancy. Oh. Why do we get the feeling, yes, once you've picked up the ring, it's going to be at the bottom of, say, some water. It stops you swimming up. Okay. And why do I also get the feeling, this guy is, for some reason assassinating any competent mages, leaving only the ones he deems to be incompetent so that nobody challenges his position as head of guild. Okay, I suspect that's what's going on here. Oh, and I cannot use that buoyancy. I don't have the alteration. Okay, we're just going to have to make a do with what we've got. If I can't magic a solution, could I maybe... Yes, use a potion, like a feather potion. Perfect. Okay, that might be the solution we need. All right, they said the well around the back of the guild, so just slip into the old back streets around here. Lovely. And okay, down into the well we go. Oh, okay. So, um, I feel like potentially... Right, let's, let's get back, back, back up, back... Click on the ladder, John. Click on the ladder. Okay. So, I'm going to be honest. I probably should have expected this, but, 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 as it turns out, the bottom of the well is full of water. Gotcha. Okay, water breathing is not a thing I can do right now, so I'm going to need to get in and get back out again in one movement. Now, admittedly, this is where my... John. Okay, I've got a genius plan right here. Hell right. I can make myself faster. Speed up, acrobatics up. So, speed is base speed, and acrobatics is... That's just jumping. That might not affect uh, anything else. But, that's got to help me move around faster, even while underwater, right? Activate it. Boom, and get in there. Now get over here. You're going to be Vidkun. Okay. So there's his bits and pieces. I'm guessing this is about to cause trouble. Yeah, either I feather myself like crazy, or I have to dump a whole bunch of stuff, or some combination of the above. Because, yeah, I can only get myself up to 
250. Feather means, yeah, presumably that converts into, yeah, bonus carry weight, I assume. Let's just test that. I've dropped a save before I came down here in case this went wrong. Let's make sure we understand this. So, go to here. That doesn't seem to have done much, actually. But yes, under this game's rules, once I'm actually over capacity, I literally can't move. It's not just slower, it's nothing. So, John, did you put it on a him rather than... Well, that would explain a lot. Okay, don't give it to him. Drink the potion of feather. So yes, that gets me up to 250. Is there any way whatsoever I could get rid of a tiny bit of... Okay, I'm going to be honest. I know there's more of these just sitting upstairs in the Mages Guild. So let's just dump this stuff. Right, we can get that back later. That's... John, you've still got to get rid of 21. You've not got 21 to get rid of. I mean, I've got the Steel Mace. I could just come back and get this in a second. It's not like I'm losing it forever. So that's easy enough to get rid of right there. There we go. Dump some potions. I'm now down to 249 out of 250. Go, 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 go. That wasn't the right way. None of this was the right way. Why didn't I go the right way? Which way was the right? Go, 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 John. I did go the right way. I just got momentarily confused. It's fine. I've not drowned. I just drowned like the tiniest amount. You know what? We're going to say this was intentional because this is a good opportunity for me to get my restoration up. Perfect timing right there. Well done, leveling system. I'm afraid some things have happened while you've been gone, Associate. It may affect your recommendation. Okay. Hang about. What's... What's happened precisely? Also, I've got the ring. Oh, just drop it anywhere. I don't think he really cared about it. I think it was some sort of sick joke on his part. Okay. In which case, what's... What's going on, Dietzen? I'll admit, it's my doing. I couldn't leave well enough alone. And after you'd left to go after that ring, well, I'm just so tired of the way we've all been treated by Falkar. I was worried about you and angry about Vidkun, so I confronted Falkar directly. He was furious when I told him I'd helped you. And then when I threatened to report him to the Council of Mages, I thought he was going to kill me. He flew into a rage. I didn't even understand some of his ranting, but he said that our days are numbered, and then he stormed out. I don't know if he ever wrote your recommendation. I'm sorry. I didn't expect this to happen. Perhaps you should go look and see if he did write one. You should check his room in the living quarters. If you see the note or anything else unusual, let me know. I'll gladly send it to the council. Okay, um, think I might be one step ahead of you there. By any chance, he is yes, the type of soul gems you use on people of note in any way. Oh, and I found your dead friend too. It's such a shame. He didn't deserve to die like that. Okay, so we've reported that. Nothing else for doing that as far as I can see. And there we go. Leave the conversation. It auto updates to the Black Soul Gems. I was right. He wasn't supposed to have those. Oh dear, this is worse than I'd expected. All right, I'll just take these from you. I'll need them for my report to the council. Now... You didn't find any sort of recommendation? Very well. I shall write one myself and include it in my report to the Council. In light of the circumstances, I believe they'll find it more than adequate. Okay, so we've got the recommendation from this town and... Uh, yes, on top of that, Falcar's still out there somewhere and might not necessarily be, yes, well inclined towards me anymore. So okay, if we see him... He might want to fight. Also, hilariously, the Ring of Burden has literally zero value. So, there's not even any point selling it. There is no benefit to it, though. Just out of interest. Like, could I actually have just lifted it using the grabby lifty function? Because, yeah, you've got the grabby lifty function. Could you just use that to move it around? And... Okay, I think I found a loophole. In the whole Ring of Burden situation. If only Vidcut had thought of that, damn it. Okay, I need to go back down into the well. Because I did leave some stuff down there. I don't want to lose. Ooh, there's also one of them special plants down here. 
Okay, I'm glad I bothered to have a proper look around. And there's my steel mace. You had nothing on you, buddy. Right, I think I've got all of that back. Everything I need. On my way back up to the town. Lovely. Okay, lesson learned though. I'm going around to the general goods store on the main shopping street. Just to, yeah, clear out the potions. I'm carrying too much potion weight I do not need. So, buddy, let's do a nice deal. I'm retired from adventuring. But you might try the old mine they call Rickety Mine out east along the Blue Road. Another possibility in that direction might be Kemen. It's an old alien ruin. You might also look at Quickwater Cave to the north. I cleared it out, but I haven't been there in years. It might have new tenants. Okay, we've got ourselves an old orc adventurer here who is just a full of helpful advice for what might be where. So, okay, let's do some buying and selling. First up, of course, just get her what? on side. Oh, and I'm going to be honest, I like her Cowl of the Druid right here. So, Marksman, permanent increase. Detect life, permanently on. Drain Blade, 10 points on sale, so I assume any weapon maybe uh, has to be Blade. I don't know whether Blunt counts. Yeah, would be draining enemies. That's pretty badass. I wouldn't mind that. Though, to be honest, it does cost, uh, yes, more than a horse. And I definitely can't afford a horse. Oh, but she is selling food. Yes, free money. Love it. Like there we go. Got rid of some potions up to 700 old gold. Brilliant. And yet more notes of interest nearby. So, okay. I layered ruin nearby on the east side towards Morrowind. Uh, then one cave uh, on the way towards... Uh, I mean, Azura's Shrine has got to be the most interesting thing I've been told about so far. But, 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 but. Don't rush out of town just yet. There's probably more in town. In fact, we haven't even been over the river yet. Okay, I've come over the river. And I can't help but notice some of the houses here are a lot bigger. So, okay. This might be the nice side of town right next to the giant cathedral. Got it. Stand clear. Ooh. Okay. This guy's got a bloody guard guarding his house. Dear oh flipping dear. Right, he must be important for some reason. Oh, and speak of the devil, potentially rather literally. Abandoned house. We were told, uh, hey, whatever. Well, that's interesting. Okay. There's... It's a Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. In the well. I feel like I'm going to regret this, so I'm going to drop a coward save. But I'm going to investigate the abandoned house. And... Uh, Okay, I think it's not a crime to do an easy log, but just in case it is... Okay, I think I'm getting better at this, by the way, and there we go. First time, and... Oh, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to hugely, hugely regret coming into the abandoned house. The people were saying, whatever happens, don't spend the night in the abandoned house, and... Okay, it's got an abandoned murder basement. Good. Good, good, good. Trashed house. The waters of oblivion right here. Valuable, but not a skill book, apparently. This is definitely Dark Brotherhood stuff I'm poking my head into right now. Okay. I'm guessing this is how you join the Dark Brotherhood in this game. You poke your nose in where it's blatantly not supposed to be. Kind of like how, yes, you stole their contract by killing what's her name. In uh, Skyrim. Alright. I feel like that's an evil tunnel. Just need a torch so I can see what's going on. Oh, good to regret this. This is... The tunnel's red. It's a red evil tunnel. Oh, bloody hell. Right, just... Just check for anything suspicious. Nothing suspicious yet. Okay. Definitely... Definitely evil. Although, I mean, I'm assuming I just can't open the door, right? What is the cover of night? Say nothing, walk away. Okay, I'm amazed they're going to let me walk away. Like, I've seen your evil Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary door and the blood next to it. Okay, you know what? This is, this is fine. I know where the bag door is anyway, it's in the well. 
Catastrophically bad idea. Take two. And uh, need the proper key. All right. So I know where the Dark Brotherhood live, but I can't get in just yet. And the rest of this side of town appears to be, yes, residential and the giant church. Which on this occasion is, okay, the god of death. Nothing much going on, but yes, this seems to be a thing. When you get into a town, the local mages guild sells one particular specialization, but there always seems to be someone hanging out in the big church selling good restoration spells. So uh, that's nice at the bare minimum. And the chief priestess doesn't want to talk about RK, but apparently she's annoyed by fines or something. Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the captain of the guard post, this city's gone downhill. It's getting almost scary to walk the streets. The guards have imposed new, ridiculously heavy fines for every infraction under the sun. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. If you're interested, go talk to Levana Nadarin. She seems the most outspoken against Ulrich and his new fines. Okay, brand new mission. But yes, it would appear all churches have uh, the same basic layout as far as I can see. So just shrines to everyone, one big shrine, the nine in the center, then a secret murder basement I'm not allowed inside. Okay, so that seems to be the entire town. It's like, yes, one big loop with a couple of bridges uh, over the town, then we're back at the shopping street. Though, at the top, of course, we have uh, whoever runs the joints. Okay, who's in charge and would you like to say... Yes. Oh... Well, that's some storytelling right there, isn't it? Right, so I'm guessing you used to have a countess once upon a time, and now you don't, do you? I am Andal Indaris, Count Chadenhall. There is no more generous or just ruler in Cyrodiil, if I say so myself. Okay, so basically he's massively corrupt and in on the whole guard scam we were just told about. Gotcha. Still, no sign of a mission, but with his disposition maxed, any chance I could buy that lovely house, buddy? Yes. In fact, I do have a home for sale. It's a fairly typical Chayden Hall home. It's in decent shape, although largely unfurnished. And... Uh, oh, blimey. Okay. So, uh, everything just keeps getting more and more bloody expensive. Every time I find a new horse or a new house, it's even more pricey than the last one. All right, basic layout appears to be about the same as, yes, what we saw in Coral. But on this occasion, I have uh, no reason to go into, yes, any of the rooms upstairs. Uh, so I definitely shouldn't do that because it would be trespassing and the guards will murder me. I'm guessing some of these missions I've been given sooner or later are going to pull this guy in. Okay, I think I've seen everything around here, so... Uh, Let's get focused on, yes, the most interesting one, to my mind, which is, well, after the Dark Brotherhood, which apparently we can't advance any further just for the time being, though I'm guessing when the time's right, they'll come looking for me, the missing painter. That was right here on the left somewhere. Here we go, this place. So, his wife, Tivia, or Tivoli, or something of that nature, she's going to want some assistance. Yes, I am here to offer assistance. You are one step ahead of me. I'm Tavella Lepandus. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wrythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. So, okay, tell me more. Yes, Wrythe likes to work in his studio with the door locked, so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. But two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. I love him dearly, and I'm so worried. Okay, we've got a locked room mystery. Oh, absolute classic. Oh, and here's perfect. I do need to get my alteration moving up. So chest, very easy. 
just crack that open and boom love it so i'll just be having your stuff while i am you know taking care of all this business i see no reason why wouldn't you know help myself to a few bits and pieces this is a nice place mind and all okay a water breathing scroll so that would have been rather useful during that whole uh yes situation down the bottom of the well and just keep looting the place. But also, look for evidence. Damn it, alright. We need to find evidence as to what's going on. So, right. That'll be his studio. You've also got a basement. Would you mind looking away for a second? I wouldn't mind investigating the basement, but... Oh, here we go. That's right, you just nip out for the day. Off you go. Enjoy a nice stroll. Don't mind me, I'm not going into your secret basement where you left the letter explaining how you killed your husband. Oh, I'm going to be honest, I was just joking, but I might not be uh, too wrong here. There's a book right by the fireplace in the same room. A book about the Dark Brotherhood. And we know the Dark Brotherhood is located inside this town. And we know... Oh. I think I know what's happened to your husband. And it's not good news. Right, I'm guessing I'm going to find maybe a key to that well somewhere or another. Okay, I've advanced time to night. Because I thought what she would do would be, yes, go to bed at night. But instead now she's just following me around. So, okay, this is good actually. Yeah, follow me to here. Am I trespassing? I mean, you invited me to solve the mystery. Okay, what I'm going to do. It's time for you to go. Okay, just a second. I'm going to hop down, go in. Right, job done. Down into the basement. Lovely. Right, murder basement. Let's see what we have got. Dark Brotherhood knives, Dark Brotherhood apparel, suspicious bloodstains, etc, etc. Okay, I'm going to be honest. There's nothing suspicious down here at all. And also, she's still following me around, uh, telling me to leave. So, okay, I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. All right, into the study. There's got to be some evidence dotted around uh, here. Can't examine any of this. Hang about. There's got to be, like, a secret note. Something Dark Brotherhood and... Okay. When you say... Open... Uh-oh. Um, okay. Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Sorry to break it to you like that, but if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Okay, just let's calm down for a second. What the hell is going on? I was in my studio when a Basma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. Okay, so you've got a magic paintbrush, and then someone stole the magic paintbrush, and now we're trapped inside a painting. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an errant fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the use of both arms. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Devella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It said the bristles of the brush are woven from Devella's own hair. That injured man was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? Okay, well, I feel like I should say yes, because it might be important for 
how this universe functions, where I suddenly find myself a bit caught. The brush allows the artist to paint from within a canvas. It opens a portal into which the artist may enter to paint things life-sized. All the painter has to do is have the brush in his possession, and whatever he imagines appears in the canvas. Of course, I like to wave it around anyway. It makes me feel more like a legitimate painter. I guess it all doesn't matter now. Unless you can defeat those painted trolls, we have no chance of getting the brush back. Okay, so... Oh, I've not fought trolls so far. Trolls were scary in Skyrim. The trolls that the thief painted seem to have turned on their creator and killed him. He didn't know the brush had its risks. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. The brush is on the body of the Bosma thief there. I will not be able to help you. I am not a warrior. But take these bottles of turpentine. They might help. Do be careful. Oh, that's super cute. Because, yes, they're paint. So stuff that, like, thins or destroys paintwood, that's so cool. Okay, so... Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. The sky is painted. The rocks are... Yeah, like, painted textures. Okay, right, this is, this is all fascinating. But all my usual abilities were, like, oh, is my zombie now painted? My zombie's not painted. He's just normal, so. Any luck? Oh, bloody hell, how big is this place? Okay, I think pretty big, and also I've just seen it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, trolls are fast, trolls are fast, trolls are fast. Trolls are fast, okay. This is, this is all fine. Uh, Let's just see how fast we're talking. Get it over here and whack him, whack him. Oh, we might be in trouble. We might be in a lot of... Okay. He gave me turpentine. Use it. Use the turpentine. These things are... They're fast. They're really terrifyingly fast. Okay, hang on. Where's the... There it is. So damage to painted trolls. Uh, plus 50. Okay, put it on. In fact, no. John, it's time to go over to everything good. Go over to the Jolt Sword. So, okay, and block. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't like that, do you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, I got your number, buddy. When I say that, he kind of almost killed me a bit. Right. So, I've got a magic sword, and I've got the turpentine. If I can get a sneak attack on them with the bow... That'd be good, right there. That'd be a good opening. Then just one dose of turpentine, go into the sword. That should be good enough. I'll speak of the devil. I see you over there, buddy. And about there, perhaps. That was just shy, wasn't it? Go. And come on, but oh, that definitely got him. It didn't do much, might. Didn't do much. Okay, this is this is fine. Everything is under control. All right, shortcut that. And then zombie friend and then block. Okay, that's good. And now go over to, yeah, just do another dose of the turpentine. All right, one dose of turpentine per this. And block and go, go, go. Oh, that is, that is ridiculous. That is great right there. And then we just both go in and he gets sent flying. Blade is going up. That's fine. I'm willing to use my best skills. These guys are not nothing. Okay, they're a bit on the tough side, actually. But we are cutting our way through them. I think we've got their number. Just the combination of uh, one arrow, zombie friend, and yes, the turpentine. We can deal with them before they deal with me. Okay, I think we're down to the last one because I'm pretty sure I see the thief right there. So, okay. Just, oh, wait... Wait, 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 wait. If I can get on top of this here rock, that'd be good. Okay, this looks good. This is good right here. Just aim up about maybe that much. And lovely. Right. Zombie friend, you're over there. Round two here. He goes for that guy, because who else can he go for? I get up and activate turpentine. And he's already almost dead. Get round the back of him. Shield if need be. Job done. Teamwork. I love you, zombie friend. You're great. And yes, I'm also getting painted troll fat, which is fascinating. Absolutely brilliant. So, okay. This area is 
beautiful and gorgeous and, of course, the thief didn't really know how to use the brush, so where he is, it's just bland desert. The trees are what was created by, yeah, the guy who knew what he was doing. Tiny bit of gold and, yes, the magical brush that can make anything you imagine real, which apparently has zero value, which I think is a bit harsh to the brush, but whatever. Also, it looks like, yes, I might have used up uh, most of the charge in my sword, but I feel like this was a good use of all my best weapons. My steel arrows, my magic sword, and my best summon. This was the right moment to crack that stuff out. Oh, and just to confirm, it turns out he was not murdered by his wife, who was secretly a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Like, that was a good theory, but it turned out to be not true. Good work. Now I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first, or else you'd be stuck in here forever. All right, let's be on our way then. So he's just going to go in this direction. I'm guessing it's going to be... It's all a bit tranquility laid, isn't it? Magic portrait back to his house. And in we go, back to normal reality. Lovely. Tavella. Right. Oh, my love. You're home safe. I was so afraid. If it wasn't for my friend here, you'd be right. I don't know how to thank you. You have a good heart to help me get back home. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Here, please take this apron as a token of our friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. All I ask in return is to keep the brush's existence secret. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. Okay, so I've got myself an apron. Fascinating. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. Actually, this thing is, yeah, armor of three, and also comes with intelligence and agility, though. Hang on, what else does it... Does it actually prevent me from using my boots or my hat? No, it doesn't. Okay, it's a reinforced apron with the same amount of stopping power as actual leather armor. I mean, great! That's a lot of bonus agility and intelligence. Those are good stats for me. Oh yeah, look at that. We're starting to get somewhere now. So okay, that's a good start made here in Jaden Hall, but yes indeed. There's still a potentially corrupt guard who's extorting money out of the local population. And uh, if I may be going to buy property here, then I'm going to be honest. Yeah, the Count has put me off that a bit. He seems, you know, a bit of a bastard, so... We'll have to see whether that puts me off investing in property in this neighbourhood. At the bare minimum, we could sort out the corruption scandal, because uh, I'm guessing it might lead me to either the Count himself, or maybe the Dark Brotherhood, because they are in this town, and uh, I need to find a way to get in. So, alright, corruption chicanery coming up next time, and after that I'd say it's time for us uh, to leave town. I've been told uh, by one of my friends, uh, yes indeed, Azura's Shrine is to the north. We should definitely go and check that out. Oh, and bloody hell, I forgot about the Fighters Guild. Yes, I should go and visit the Fighters Guild uh, as well, because uh, this, to me, looks like it is a much, much bigger building than we had in Coral. So this might be like the headquarters or something. I don't know. Next time, perhaps, we shall find out. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.